away. This is the this is the trick of life. This is the best way to get your day started out every day of the week. <laughs> Bobby's Evo 10. I haven't shown any content of tuning the car, but we're all done with pump gas. I just haven't showed you guys because I'm making a special video for that whole situation. But yeah, this thing I must say is going to be a ripper. I would say we're low 500s right now on pump gas. May high 400s, low fives on pump. We're only on 20 pounds of boost. So yeah, E85 is where we party. This thing's insane. It's going to gap everything. Vader, if you're watching this, coming for you what is going on my friends welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another vlog i hope you guys are having a great day i would be if my lights would turn on in my shop i need a now just gotta walk around for a while there we go today we are ripping the entire wrap off of the wide body evo 10 this thing is gonna get a new wrap or maybe paint guess we'll see when we pull the wrap off i don't know the condition of the car underneath the wrap i promised myself after buying that car and having to respray the whole thing that i would never buy a vinyl wrapped car again but i went against my word so i'm not sure what's unpainted i i'm pretty sure the front bumpers unpainted the skirts and the rear bumper all those are unpainted i'm not sure if the wide body kits sprayed or not i hope it is the car is silver underneath which this thing wide body on the bronze z40s if it was silver would look all right i would not mind it at all but if it's kind of junky underneath the vinyl wrap we already have a new idea in mind the car looks sick as is i'm not gonna lie i love the matte black on it but this wrap is so trashed it's so scratched up and like stuff like this just scratches chips chunking out chips chunking out on the do look trunk stuff like that i don't like i'm gonna start by pulling wrap off of all the oem panels for example the doors quarter panels roof all that good stuff we can do the un oem stuff later on so far the paint looks mint which is good I am pleased to announce there's not a single defect on this entire door. This paint is freaking beautiful. Nothing covered up. I'm thankful for that. So, here we have an extremely slow car. Huh, Dudley? Take two. How's it going, son? Splendid. As you notice, daily driver life. Yes, sir. Except when it's broke. This is Dudley's car. We tried to go for a rip in it the other day and he had all sorts of issues. All the issues. So I'm not the only one with problems in life. <laughs> well, you were in the car, so it was kind of like your fault though. Well, so I was in the car, but then I saw Jared earlier that day. Oh, awesome. that's, that's how that went. It's still Jared's fault somehow. Yeah, exactly. So what's, she, what's this bitch putting down? A thousand wheel? Uh, no clue, but it, it's pushing like 43 pounds of boost right now because I fixed all the boost leaks. And usually it only makes like, oh, this is up the road. We can go back road. Yeah, uh, this is a good road. Usually makes like 38 pounds. Yeah. So who knows at this point. This car is fun. This is a very fun car. He said this is a good road. Well, once you get past the bullshit, this is a good road. Yeah, I like this setup a lot. Yeah, because this, this power is like instant in this thing. And I can literally drive it every day and not be scared it's going to break. Yeah, what turbos are on it? Uh, they're just upgraded turbos from Pure Turbos. It's a little windy for a while. Oh, 
the uh, Mickey Thompson GT streets right now. Does she hook pretty good? In a straight line. There's yeah. a little roll in the corners just now. Yeah, this thing rips. It's such a different power than like a big turbo four cylinder. It's very smooth, like. Yeah. It's not that hard hit, like, oh shit, I'm scared. It's more of a like, oh, like, oh shit, I'm going fast. It's kind of like a grandma car. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it's basically a Nissan Altima with a body kit. It's like a Tesla. With the boost leaks, it sounded just like an Infiniti G35. Yeah, this thing is fast. This thing hauls ass. I didn't remember it being this fast last time. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't? No, definitely not. Okay, I was gonna say, this feels 10 times faster. Yeah, you're on a, what, nine, or 10, five, nine, five? Nine, five. She would be bawling her eyes out right now. Oh, man. Damn. That's the first time I've like killed a bird with the windshield. That was crazy. I think it hit the hood first and then swatted. Did it? I think. I mean, it's dude. This car is nuts. I love it. It's so fucking fast. Last time I rode it, it was what 750, 800 wheel. Yeah, and I think we were still having issues that yeah. time too. Because that was the night I called you and was like, hey, you gotta. Oh uh, yeah. You can just go up here and take a left. That, that road's a little hot now. I've been doing pulls all day on that road. That road or this road? That road there that we were still on. That's too many bobs for pump gas. You can go left, it goes back to the shop. I want to go right real quick. Oh. I'll let you drive back to the left. I don't know if I want to drive. This car's kind of scared me. It's only like 90. This car's not even scary when you're driving. Like, the only thing that's scary is like when you get pulled back, your arms are so far back. Thing about this 
other than like a fuel pressure sensor and a little maintenance above, this car's been exactly the same. Reliable stuff. Yeah. 30,000 miles on it. <laughs> Brother, this thing is so fun. Bro, that like started like because the seats <laughs> started like sliding up the back of the seat. You know it's faster than scaring you. Oh, dude. Well, that is probably the fastest car I've ever been in in my entire life. She's quite quick. Core panel, both doors and pillar are all unwrapped. All the paint is in really good shape. We have a dent here that can easily be removed via PDR and a little dent there as well. But I am pretty impressed with how quality this paint is and whoever wrapped this car as well did a very, very good job. Props to you, my man. It looks, in, it looks incredible. I'm gonna move on to the wide body panels on this side. 99% sure they're unpainted, which is not a big deal. They are unpainted, not a big deal. Let's go ahead, pull the panels off and see what kind of wide body quarter panel ceiling they did. You guys remember what the hatch looked like? I have a feeling based off the quality of parts that are on this car, all authentic Varus, the Rays, the Brides that were on it, it's gonna be a quality job. They did a really good job. That's better than my work, honestly. I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. They did a good job though. Props to whoever did that. Well, now that we know the condition of the car, which is very, very nice and all of the aftermarket parts on the car. So the trunk, both bumper skirts and wide body kit, all that's gonna be unpainted, I'm 99% sure. Do we leave the car silver, which is kind of boring, but would look very, very clean with the bronze ZE40s? Or do we do some wild, crazy, out there wrap? Comment below. Before we do any sort of body work, I do wanna pull the motor out of this car and go through all that good stuff, the entire drivetrain. Hopefully, let me just put this out there. I hope you guys aren't sick of Evos. If you are, let me know, but I love these things. And I always say I'm gonna stop building Evos, but I have a good vision for this car. And it's my first wide body Evo, so it's a little bit different. Ending off the night, going for a date in our favorite car in the world. This car has not been touched or driven for, for a minute. The old baby girl. 
I love this car so much. Also, another car you guys haven't seen on the channel forever is the wide body FRS. This thing just sits these days. It's perfect. It runs good. It's not blowing up or anything. It just doesn't get driven. I don't know why. I love this car a lot. But I guess when you have a lot of cars that you love a lot, you can't really drive them all all the time. You know what I'm saying? One day, we'll get some miles on her. I was thinking about case swapping this. Heavily, heavily debating doing a turbo K24 in this car. And then either S2K trans or try to do an all wheel drive setup. It would be insane. Obviously we'd have to ditch the camber, do a really meaty setup if we're gonna make like five, 600 wheel. But yeah, I don't know. I have weird ideas, but let's go on a cruise. In the Supra, I'm not sure where we're gonna go eat dinner, but hopefully somewhere good. It. Oh, we're taking soup? That you're taking me on a date in the Supra. We can go in the FRS. I'll pass. What? It's way faster. I ain't gonna lie, the FRS does look better. As of right now, comment below what you guys think. Unless you're an anti-stance person, this FRS looks pretty insane. Okay, where are we gonna go on a date? Does this car make you pop a woody? What? Yeah. No. Oh. Well, it should. <laughs> I get really confused when I'm driving this car and people don't look at it. Like, pff, you're really not gonna check out a Supra, bro? Because I know when I'm driving and I see, like, well, how many other Supras in Spokane out there? There's like two. I shit myself. So I I'm confused. Know I know there's a really clean red Mark IV Targa. We've Targa? seen it together before. It's left hand drive. It's really clean. Salad number one, salad number two. Devin's been dying to pull up the Supra so we can eat and wash it at the same time. Pizza. Stop number two of the day. Frozen yogurt. The best. Second best to the soup, actually. 